Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island. The team now has two secret chambers in the Money Pit area. This week on The Curse of Oak Island, the team uncovered a second secret offset chamber beside the garden shaft. This new discovery came as the guys continued to explore the Aladdin's Cave void about 30 feet southwest of the garden shaft within the Money Pit area. Most of this week's episode involved the guys assessing damage and cleaning up after a brutal storm hit Nova Scotia. However, it seemed like out of their depression and misery there may have come a massive breakthrough. The guys were particularly depressed about the garden shaft now being filled with 30 feet of water. The Dumas Mining Company and the guys could not find where the water was coming from, making them think the storm had somehow breached a flood tunnel. Hitting a flood tunnel would be massively frustrating as it brings work to a halt, but it could also be a positive as it would mean they are close to something important. The secret chamber off garden shaft could be key to the Oak Island mystery. With about 700 gallons of water piling in every hour, the Dumas guys needed to focus all efforts on finding where the water was coming from and how to stop it. However, what appeared to be a disaster may have been a blessing in disguise. The Dumas team conducted exploratory drilling, probing to see where the water was entering the shaft, and they stumbled across an offset chamber. Roger Fortin took a picture on his cell phone of a small chamber, at a depth of 65 feet with timbers piled up inside. Roger kept referring to the find as very weird, and stressed the void or cavity was separate from the shaft. The guys have been busting a gut, hoping to find an offset chamber close to garden shaft, and now it seems they may have finally done it. Unfortunately, there was no time on last night's episode to explore the chamber and investigate if it was part of a larger structure or tunnel. The absolute priority at that moment was stopping the flow of water. The Fellowship of the Dick has been searching for a secret offset chamber containing the elusive treasure for a long time. But Marty Lagina and the guys have now started floating the idea that there may be multiple offset chambers with varying amounts of treasure throughout the Money Pit area. The Oak Island team sent another camera and sonar scanner into Aladdin's cave. With that in mind, the guys are still trying to ascertain if Aladdin's cave, a 30-foot-long cavern located about 160 feet below the surface to the southwest of the garden shaft, is human-made and could be a treasure chamber. The team dug another hole over the void and sent down a high-definition camera and a sonar scanner. Frankly, the guys still don't have their answer. The bottom of the cavern slopes at a steep angle and is covered in silt and sediment. Geologist Terry Matheson suggested something may be buried under the sediment, but it's currently impossible to tell. Steve Guptill thought he saw an opening into the void, which would be a necessity if the void was human-made. However, the image was unclear, and the other guys refused to confirm Steve's theory. The sun dipped low over the dense pines of Oak Island, casting long shadows that stretched across the ancient terrain. The air was thick with anticipation as the Legina brothers, Rick and Marty, stood at the edge of the money pit, a place where mystery, legend, and reality blurred into one. For over two centuries, treasure hunters had come and gone, lured by tales of unimaginable wealth buried deep beneath the soil. And now, after years of digging, exploring, and deciphering cryptic clues, the team had made a groundbreaking discovery, two secret chambers hidden within the depths of the infamous money pit. The discovery had come as a shock, a revelation that sent ripples through the team and reinvigorated their resolve. For years they had battled the elements, navigated the treacherous waters of the Atlantic, and sifted through layers of history to get to this moment. The chambers were a testament to the ingenuity and tenacity of whoever had created this intricate labyrinth centuries ago. But with the discovery came a new wave of questions, and an overwhelming sense of unease. The first chamber was found almost by accident, a narrow cavity revealed when a drill bit had struck something solid beneath the earth. At first, it was dismissed as just another anomaly in the treacherous ground, but as they continued to excavate, the shape of a room began to emerge. A room not crafted by nature but by human hands. It was a small, almost claustrophobic space, its walls lined with timbers that had weathered centuries underground. But what truly caught their attention were the strange markings etched into the wood, symbols that none of the team could decipher. They seemed almost otherworldly. 
The second chamber was discovered only days later, located some distance from the first. This one was larger, more elaborately constructed, with walls reinforced by stone and a floor that sloped gently downward. It had the unmistakable feel of a vault, a place meant to hide something of great value. But unlike the first chamber, this one was eerily empty, save for a single object in the center, a stone tablet engraved with more of those indecipherable symbols. As the team gathered around the tablet, the atmosphere was electric with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. Rick, ever the cautious one, voiced what they were all thinking. What if this is a warning? What if we're not meant to go any further? Marty, always the pragmatist, dismissed the notion with a wave of his hand. We've come this far, Rick. We can't stop now. Whatever's down here, we're going to find it. But even Marty couldn't shake the feeling that they were venturing into dangerous territory. The discoveries had attracted attention, far more than they were comfortable with. Strange occurrences had started happening around the island. Equipment failures, unexplained noises in the dead of night, and the overwhelming sensation of being watched. The team was on edge, but the allure of the treasure kept them going. Days turned into weeks as they continued to explore the chambers. They brought in experts to analyze the symbols on the tablet, but no one could make sense of them. The symbols didn't match any known language, ancient or modern. Some speculated they might be a code, others thought they could be of extraterrestrial origin, but the most chilling theory came from an old local historian who had spent his life researching the legends of Oak Island. This is a curse, he told them gravely, his voice trembling with age and conviction. A curse placed by those who buried the treasure to protect it from those who would try to steal it. These symbols, these are not just words. They are a binding spell, a promise of doom to anyone who dares to disturb what lies beneath. The team listened, their skepticism palpable, but there was no denying the sense of dread that hung over them. They had already lost men to the island's many traps and pitfalls. How many more would be lost before they uncovered the truth? Despite the warnings, the Legina brothers pushed on, determined to solve the mystery of Oak Island once and for all. They'd expanded the dig, bringing in more heavy machinery to breach the chamber's defenses. But the deeper they dug, the more dangerous the operation became. Sinkholes opened up without warning, swallowing equipment whole. Tunnels that had seemed stable suddenly collapsed, nearly trapping the workers inside. The island itself seemed to be fighting back, resisting their every attempt to uncover its secrets. And then came the storm. It was a storm unlike any they had ever seen. Furious winds that howled through the trees, torrential rain that turned the ground to mud, and waves that battered the island's shores with relentless force. The team huddled in their base camp, watching helplessly as their equipment was destroyed, their progress undone in a matter of hours. When the storm finally passed, they emerged to find the money pit transformed, flooded with seawater, the chambers hidden once more beneath a layer of debris and rubble. The island had won this round, but the Lagina brothers were undeterred. They regrouped, assessing the damage and planning their next move. They knew they were close, closer than anyone had ever been. But they also knew that whatever was buried on Oak Island wasn't going to be found easily. It was a game of cat and mouse, with the island always one step ahead. As they prepared to resume the search, a sense of unease settled over them. The secret chambers, the symbols, the storm. It all felt too coincidental, too deliberate. The historian's warning echoed in their minds. This is a curse. But curses were the stuff of legends, and the Lagina brothers were men of science and reason. They had come too far to turn back now. Whatever the island was hiding, they would find it. And if there was a curse, they would break it. But deep down, in the quiet moments when the wind whispered through the trees and the shadows danced across the ground, even they had to wonder, was the treasure worth the price they might have to pay?